like it? It's fat. It it's is got fat. A, well, you know, with a little fish help from Fishman. Yeah. It's got that. I see lots of possibilities with this one. Yeah. It's Fair cool. Enough. All right, Quentin. I'm just going to stop there for a second. So well, you can welcome. Talk a bit. Welcome. We I'll will talk about down. this, and then uh, we'll hear some more of it. So. Oh, yeah. We're doing another nylon string. Um, this one's a little different though. Welcome everyone, Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. I'm with Quentin King. And uh, I guess there was some controversy on Cordoba. Cordoba. Cordoba, Cordoba. Cordoba. You know, someone corrected us, but. Yeah. yeah. You get what you pay for here. Uh, tomato, tomato, YouTube's. right? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> so however you want to say it, go ahead and say it. So, but uh, Cordoba uh, is, how I was told to say it, mm -hmm. um, has a new model, and this is called the stage guitar. So, but it's cool. It's a nylon string guitar, right? Which you know, I was just hearing you there. It's just so cool. You can plug it in. You can play it on the couch without any yes. amp, and it yeah. can be really quiet at night. Um, it's just a cool guitar. And I always think of uh, who do I think of? Zach Brown Band. Like he plays a nylon really mm -hmm. loud on stage. Like you know, there's there's rock genres. There's country, there's classical, there's uh, Spanish style. Well, I mean, within the nylon string guitar, yeah, they, there are lots of different applications for it, you know, and I'm yeah. always thinking of like Sting and whatnot, but it, when you're thinking right. of the the classic, the, the one that pops to mind is Chet Atkins, right? You know, yep. Chet Atkins played, to my knowledge, like a thin body, yeah. electrified nylon string guitar. Uh, the, the one that I've mentioned on our channel before, one of my, I think one of my top five guitar players ever is a guy named Sylvan Luke who right. plays uh, this style yep. of instrument, you know, nylon string with the yeah. thin body and the pickups because you can do so much with it, especially if you're just beyond, you know, getting the right notes, but the percussiveness of right. having this exactly. thin body and the pickups yep. and the mics. Yeah, the Chet stuff is really cool mm -hmm. on a nylon string like that. Mm -hmm. But There's what you're lot. saying is obviously acoustically it's going to be very yeah. quiet and I don't even know without the mic right. up into yeah. it, but... I can hear it comfortably, yeah. uh, and it'd be a great couch great practice, practice instrument yeah. where you're not disturbing anybody. And then bring it in, bring the it in, and then I'll tell you what those controls are. Right. Well, the body, I mean, the, what I'm saying is the body is thick enough, there's enough acoustic box here yeah. that you can get just enough sound so you can really hear everything yep. to play on it. But when you start adding... The yeah. depth and the, the, the richness of the low end to me is really nice here. It's very nice. When you can get it loud, that's the thing. With these, you know, if you're playing in a loud place or you're plugging into a, you know, mm -hmm. an amp and you need it to be, you know, competitive with drums or anything else, that's what these are nice for too. Because a regular nylon string, you're just not going to be able to get it cranked it's up. Your, I mean, especially competing in a performance. Um, with, with crowd noise, other instruments, yeah, this is yeah clearly the way to go if this is your type of instrument, unless you're Willie Nelson. Yeah, and then, you know, you just do what you he do. He does it. Somehow does yeah. it. So let's talk about it real Trigger. quick. Yep. Uh, as you can see, flamey maple top, mm -hmm. uh, that is a maple veneer on top of a um, Sitka spruce top. So then they put the maple veneer on top. Um, mahogany, you know, back sides, the, uh -huh. the neck is all mahogany. Real thin, nice thin body. Easily accessible battery yep. compartment. That's Smart. a good idea. Rather, I mean, yep. remember the old old fashions where you'd have exactly. to like dig in the hole and yep. yank it out to change your battery. Totally. And, it's cool yeah. looking though. It's a great guitar. Yeah. Uh, volume control, mm -hmm. okay. This is like an EQ knob, okay. I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank it. I'm gonna go all the way lefty. Yep. Lucy, I'll do that on both of them at first and I'll bring it in just a little bit. And, I'll, and what I'm going to do is maybe like pan through now. I'll, I'll bring in the EQ. Yeah. That's about halfway. Yeah. And what I'm hearing is like more low end, yeah. more warmth. Kind of tightens up and the lows I'm, and the mids. And kind of, it just to me, it adds a lot of warmth. Yeah. Again, this is. That's, that's nice. Let's that's a nice that EQ. To, to the original without. Yeah. And then dial it all the way up with it. Thank you. It's two main operation. It's yeah. a, in the room, it's much more low end there. Yeah, sounds great. So, then this back one is actually bring, it, it brings in the it brings in the body sensor. So you've got a piezo sensor. under the bridge, you know, that you're running mm -hmm. with the volume. 
Yeah, and I mean, you this, can feel the difference. Like, I'm tapping here, yep. and then once you hit the bridge, then yeah. it... And you've got... Go back here. This is all real-time ex science experiment, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. But there is. There's, so there's piezo under there, and now the body sensor is also on. Now, if I shut the body sensor off, you get a little less of the of the body tap. So if you're a tap, now you've got more. Yeah, see that? Now we got a drum. Now yep. we got a cajon. In my Basically, lap. is what that is what that does. It mm -hmm. gives you that percussive sound. Mm -hmm. What? So I now mean? let's see what you got. So that sounds very trebly to me. I like. Yep. I like that this big EQ. One. Not all the way, maybe, EQ but sounds great. Oh, yeah. just fattens it up. Yeah. on this thing yeah. all day um let's hear you tap tap see i don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean like the oh you mean like yeah. the, oh this like yeah. the the yeah. mike dawes the there you go. stuff yeah. Uh, that's yeah you don't no. want to hear that i play you know yeah well hillbilly stuff there's no no hillbilly ever stopped in the middle of the solo and, and tapped on that you know <laughs> there you go but there you have it, ladies. Well, at least First you can time envision, envision what, what's capable on this guitar. When, so. and this is a, a, you know, so I challenge Billy Strings during his next ripping solo yeah. to stop and just go Do into, some you know, some, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. But the, what, what's interesting, and I'll just say this and, and shut up about it, but the... Um, I'm not a percussive player. There's tons of great guys that can do amazing things. Like Mike Dawes is the one that comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, who, and there's lots of great folks that have incorporated that in their playing. This guy that I was mentioning, Sylvan Luke, the way he plays his percussiveness, he does take advantage of even without just tapping it. You right. can hear the distinctive difference when you know the different uh, pickup systems are active or gotcha. not because yep. it gets a, a like, he gets really crazy tones. Yeah. Um, that that I don't know. It's hard to describe. I know what you're Go saying, check though. him out, yeah. Sylvan Luke. Uh, some of his solo nylon string stuff but cool. a very incredibly versatile instrument very easy to play yeah uh the neck is slightly wider yeah then you but know, not as wide as a classical not a yeah. full like two inch thing yeah. so but um yeah it plays like you've got a nylon string electric guitar yeah cool i like it just missing a b bender and a whammy bar yeah. and it'd be the perfect instrument i think there it is cordoba yeah. stage yeah stage nylon string guitar quentin thank you you bet yep thanks for watching